going down. And I know in the old games, if you stayed underwater for more than ten minutes, your character would die. I wonder if that would happen in here. Who knows? Who knows? And it's a long, long, long way down. Okay. Well, well that's here we are. Really weighs me down. <laughs> oh, I see you over there, but I'm gonna check this out first. Treasure chest, ahoy! Let's see here. 6,000 doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago, oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score! Exactly. <laughs> Always gotta have the golden wrench. La Sponge Grande, Zisele. To the cave. Finally, the home of La Sponge Grande. Um. Yeah, there we go. And I apologize for some of the noise in the background. My parents are watching a movie upstairs, sadly. <laughs> and I got chased out. Nasty critter. Whew. Horrible. Teeth. Gnashing. Ferocious. Leviathan. I neglected to mention the Guardian of Lyspawn. You know, you could have mentioned what was it. it. A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire Corsairs. No, that's good. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Nope. Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. <coughs> the monster must be tamed, Cheap Whistle. What? A rolled up newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex. Confounding. Beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? I yeah, that's my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. Sort of put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, yes. what an explorer he would have been. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, where did he learn to Santino understand that? wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from his scientist. The Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the winds to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super absorbent drives. Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get it. And how did he make sure the manatee Santino sounds? I could understand manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and manatee parts? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. So I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? Uh, I asked yes, one of do. my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me Which guess. One? Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Alrighty. Well, let's try to find out uh, who has it. I know we have to interrogate them. So, first off, let's start with Moose. Oh no, not Moose, that's uh, Bugai. I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Who had the tongue of the manatee, scumbag? I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. He's telling the truth. What? I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Yes, he is. Just don't hurt me. God, that floppy. Ooh, look at that Get fish. the floppy fish. You know, I am going to turn the volume down a bit on the uh, background noise. It's kind of loud, so the sound effects. Keep the voice up and whatnot, but... Ditch, ditch the sound of it. Alright, back to the game. And I know Moose won't talk while his buddy Murray gives him, or not Murray, Santino gives him uh, strength and whatnot. Hey Morgan, I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? 
You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mast. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's length. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. Aww. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. Exactly. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. Uh -huh. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. Ah. And then we could get the sponge? Yes. And then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Poor Mo. Don't worry about it. Poor Mo. I need to borrow your sword, Mo. Hey, Mo. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thank, Thank you very much. Don't worry, I'll have it back to you in no time. Hey, Murray. I've got something for you. And God, it's wiggling. Okay. Murray. I'm sorry it had to come to this. The top of the Manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh... A milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Uh, guess what? Don't I do. I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... <laughs> three Bye-bye, ah! Santino. Murray. Oh whatever. My god. Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! Oh my god! Oh no! Uh... Else, I'll talk! Go! I didn't have it! That's all I can remember! Forgive me for not trusting your vile <coughs> encrusted memory. Dang I didn't it. have it, bro! He's telling the truth. Or at least he thinks he is. Alright! Who's next? Well, I know what the tongue of the manatee is, but I kind of got to go through the motions. The next one, I need to get, uh... May I have a look at the files? Uh, As bios. a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Alrighty. And I need Noogie's files. Asha. Ugh. Director of Discipline, Sister Agnes. Whoa! Look at the mug on that nun. That's a cross-eyed geezer, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I know that he's afraid of the nun. So down I go. Hop on over. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. Talk I to Noogie. information. I'll never... Arr. Arr. The stinky... Cross-eyed geezer. <laughs> Stop! Ah, please, no, Sister Agnes. Noogie, sorry. Who yes, he's very sorry, Noogie. You Nugi. get the face again. It was Moose. Moose had it. Oh, please, no more. Is this true? Sad. I can't remember, bra. It's Jimbo. His icor funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. Dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. How could <coughs> I forget? No wonder. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll be getting it back. Oh, by the way, Mo, here's your uh, sword here's back. Here's your sword back. Uh, hold on to it. You might need it. Mm, thank oh. you. Oh, I can get it back whenever I want. <laughs> Very confident in herself. Not bad. 